Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, a very kind viewer, Ken, has sent me six peppers in the mail that are all extremely hot because Ken wants to hurt me. But still, thank you, Ken, for giving me this opportunity um, to try some of the super hot peppers. I've gotten some uh, criticism that I have not had, like, the peppers that will absolutely, like, murder you when you eat them. So, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is what everybody wants. Yeah, you want to see me eat hot peppers? Well, here are some really, really hot peppers. And he, um, he put them in a little panda bag. I, it's adorable, but I do not trust that panda. That panda will stab you when you're not looking. Ken said he's currently working to start a hot sauce company. So if you're interested in hot sauce or acquiring hot peppers like these, or if you want the seeds, uh, look in the description below. I put a link to his email. He doesn't have a website yet, but uh, he's on the way to, to doing stuff like that. So. If this sort of thing uh, interests you, if you want to torture yourself after you've seen me torture myself, then um, send an email out to Ken and he'll hook you up. Uh, he also told me that between eating each pepper I should wait 10 to 20 minutes, otherwise I'm just going to taste heat and I'm not going to be able to differentiate like how hot something is on the pepper scale. Uh, good tip, so I'm going to try that. Uh, I don't know how many of these peppers I'm going to get through because they are so hot. And also, as you can see, I'm here alone. Um, I asked if Michael would like to do these peppers, and I explained to him that I had uh, six peppers, all of them over a million Scovilles, and I would really love his help. And he was like, oh, gee, uh, yeah, I forgot, I'm doing my hair or something, and uh, yeah, I can't, can't do it. So, all right, all right, Michael, get you later. Here is the pepper that we're dealing with today. I chose this one because it is the mildest one that he sent me. It is called the Big Yellow Mama, and it is between 800,000 Scovilles and 1 million Scovilles. So uh, nearly as hot as the hottest pepper I've had on this show. The hottest one I had, I think, was about a million and some change. is like 1.2 million. Uh, so this is almost that hot. That's great. And uh, this one, he said, is from Louisiana, and it tastes like a habanero mixed with a ghost pepper. So if I eat this thing and my taste buds all just, like, completely shut down because it's too hot, uh, his flavor review on this is habanero mixed with ghost pepper. So I'm, I'm going to introduce the fire extinguisher of the day because I have a feeling at the moment I put that in my mouth, I'm going to be running for it. Uh, in case that happens, uh, this is a suggestion that was given to me by Jed Peterson. He said use acidic juice. So he, su he suggested grapefruit juice, but any other acidic juice would work. I don't have any grapefruit juice. I do have some lemon juice, though. And just in case that doesn't work, uh, I also have the tried and true milk. Oh, God. It's already burning my tongue. And these are peppers that build. <laughs> Initial heat on my tongue, we're already at a seven, and I'm still chewing. I'm feeling heat all over my tongue, in the sides of my mouth, like you would with a habanero but it's also feels like I'm getting stung in the back of my throat as well. So it's, it's journeying down. It's like, right now it's on the level of a habanero. So I would give that a seven out of 10. salivating a lot. And what I don't like about it 
is the sharp pain that it gives. It's not just burning my mouth, it's like, it feels like stabbing sensation, like in the middle of my throat. It's like, it's kind of like latching on to like my epiglottis and just like biting it. But it's a well-rounded heat. <laughs> so honestly, if I ignore the fact that that is painfully hot to eat on its own, it's the kind of heat that you want. Okay, I don't know if it's going to get... I'm going to give it like a few more seconds. I don't want to... I want to test out my fire extinguisher, but I want to make sure it's reaching the maximum before I do that. Yeah, I feel like it's dissipating a little bit. Oh, that is straight lemon. Um, yeah. <coughs> Ugh. I mean, it helps, but it's not pleasant. It's a similar thing, like the milk, where it'll dissipate for a moment, and then it comes back. But the difference is... <coughs> lemon juice is such a strong flavor that it creates an additional type of pain to go with what you're already suffering on. So um, maybe orange juice would be better because that would be a little bit more pleasant, but it adds to the intensity of the pepper's flavor. But it does dissipate the heat momentarily. I would, I would still vote on milk just because milk has a milder taste. Jed, good suggestion. Yeah, that, that definitely does do something. I could see that being maybe a handy thing to be using if you are um, if you are uh, vegan or something where you can't have milk. Sure, try some lemon juice. It's not quite as fun, but it'll do it. So the flavor is something like apricot, uh, like dried apricot, maybe a little bit like a, it's like a tropical taste. Something like around mango or pineapple too, but it's um, it's intense. It has a really nice flavor though, and that is something I think people don't give chilies credit for. They, they just think heat, like they think Tabasco sauce, which is kind of like pure heat, um, or those little bird eye chilies, which is like hot but not much flavor. This is a strong flavor. If you wanted just a clean heat to go into something that you're cooking, this is not what you want because this contributes. But what it contributes is really tasty. So this would be really good in a hot sauce, I think. Or uh, if you were to like cut it up real fine and put it in a chili or something, it would add a nice fruity taste to what you're making. Eating this on its own is a crazy thing to do, but if you like hot sauces or you want to flavor your food, really, really tasty. I, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to think about life for a bit. And then I'm going to go for another pepper. So I think I'm just going to do one pepper today, guys. That's uh, pretty hot. I think I need to give my taste buds a nice chill down. So uh, I'm going to wait a bit and then do another episode. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.